Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tips We're All.com. It's the free website for all things Photoshop, Lightroom, and anything else we find interesting. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at multiple layer styles. Now, this came to mind when I was visiting one of my students, and they were going all around the houses to add a couple of styles. So I thought I'd drop in here and let you know how to do it. Okay, let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop and I've got the word tip squirrel here under three lights. So I've got three light sources. And what I'd like to do is make this look like it's actually on the wall. So to do that, I'm going to use layer styles. So if I double click next to the word tip squirrel here, and I'm going to go on to drop shadow. Now, this is as it is in default. And you can see that I've got use global light, which I do not want on. In fact, I want this to go straight down like this, something like that, there we go. And I want the distance to be a little bit less. Now I can actually come onto my image and start moving this around as well. So I can make sure that I get it just as I want it. I'm gonna put that as 90 and then have the distance there at around about 26, 27. There we go, that's good, 24. All right, now I want to add another drop shadow. Now, it used to be that we would create layers and then add another drop shadow, but not anymore. What we can do here is click on this plus. So anything with a plus here, we can add multiple times. So I'm going to plus here, and you can see that another drop shadow appears. It takes on all the characteristics of the last drop shadow, including the global light if you had that set on, which of course we haven't. I'm going to take this one over just a little bit, and there's my second light source. Click on that and then come across, and now I've got three light sources in this image. Now, of course, I can do that with anything with a plus, so I've got a gradient overlay here as well, so let's click on that. And let's reset that to defaults, just so we know what it looks like when we first come in. All right, I'm going to want this to be black to white. There we go. And I'm going to have the gradient going straight down, so it looks brighter at the top than it does at the bottom, and then reduce the opacity of that. There we go. Then, of course, I can click on the plus, and I can change the angle there, and I'm going to bring down the opacity of that right down, maybe to around about 10, something like that. 11 will do me fine. And another click, and then bring that one over. So now I've got this arc of light going across the top as well. Finally, to round this bit off, I'm going to add a bevel and emboss. There we go and uh, just have that nice and strong, a good depth to it. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger perhaps. Oh, not too big. There we go. Just to give it a bit of a 3D feel. And I'm gonna click OK. And there we go. So now I've got this 3D text on the wall with multiple shadows done really, really quickly, really easily. Now, a little word of warning here, however, if I come over to my ellipse tool, there we go, and I draw out an ellipse, I'm gonna hold Shift down to make a perfect circle here. Okay, I'm going to change that to a nice blue or, yeah, let's go blue. Good. All right, now I could add a stroke here, of course, but let's stick with layer styles just for now. And I'm going to double click on there. I'm going to add a stroke. So I can reset all this, reset the default list. There we go. And I get rid of all those other drop shadows and gradients, of course. And I'm going to add a stroke. I can add a white stroke here and bring it in and out as much as I like. I'm going to bring it out to about there. Now I want a red one. So again, I click and I change this to red. But you notice now that I've covered up the white one. Now, unfortunately, we can't take these and move them around. So I'm going to have to come to this one and change that to white, even though it's on the top, and then bring this bottom one right out. So then it becomes red, of course. Uh, so then it sort of peeks out from the white itself. All right, let's make that nice and big. Because what I'm gonna do now is click OK and then zoom in just so we can have a look at this. And I'm gonna take it to 100%. And at 100%, so no more than 100%, you can already see that we're starting to get these straight lines. Now that's because the circle itself is a vector but the effect is actually made up of pixels. So as we go further out, so these lines are gonna get more and more defined. So something just to bear in mind when you're adding additional strokes to a shape. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of that. 
Okay, I'm Eric Ray. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a video for tipsquirrel.com. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful. And if you've got any questions for me, why not leave them in the comments below? I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.